Hey, what's up everybody? How you guys doing? Uh, coming at you with the newest rendition of the tier list. Should probably change it. It's like 3.0. Let's be real. It's like 3.0 right now. I made a lot of uh, you know short edits to it over time. And um, the the thing about this most recent patch is obviously AMC got a huge buff. Um, but it's not like 100% solidifying him as the uh, top dog in my mind yet. Uh, though I do think there's there's grounds for it. Um, a large reason why he's here in SS is because Geb should no longer be in SS. <laughs> I had him there as a placeholder. And for some reason, my version of the site won't allow me to put another god there. Like, there has to be, or it won't allow me to put no gods there. I, I want to just leave it blank, but yeah. So this patch is a downfall of Geb SS, went all the way down to D, the most significant drop we've ever seen for a character in one patch, man. Everything changed. So AMC basically got this um, this huge ass buff, which now uh, allows his hives to act as wards, which is a lot huger in other game modes, obviously, than it is in Duel. Um, it has some application in Duel, and it's actually uh, it has more application than I think most would uh would recognize in being able to tell where the opponent is uh at all times you know uh, in terms of buffs and such uh and uh, the fire giant but uh, the thing is getting like killing the hive already told you uh, where the player was so it's it's kind of like a um you know it's kind of weird it, because if you navigated amc well enough you could already tell where somebody was like i said just by killing that hive so I don't know. It, it is and it isn't huge. But, uh, of course, in Conquest, you know, it, it's much different because you have so much more going on in the game um, that you can't really track that, you know, where that hive was, when it was killed, you know, who killed it, whatever. Um, you know, there's so many different components there. But uh, in Duel, it, it's not that huge. Uh, but what is big, of course, is the radius of the hives. Now you can place them further off. Uh, in you know more remote locations, places that it's harder to get to, and abuse the shit out of that. Um, along with uh, your honey now being able to apply the bees uh, from a further range as well with those hives, and that's fantastic. So um, looking at that, everything else remains about the same. Uh, the reason that I say that I'm not sure he should be SS or not is because he might still lose a couple of matchups. Um, Baka might still be uh, a big issue for him. It might actually still be able to beat him. Freya um, is one that I think goes very, very closely with him, and I'm always kind of back and forth in that matchup. Um, yeah, and um, things like uh, Erlang Shen, things that can really lock him down. Uh, Baka and Erlang Shen, very similar in that regard. So, I don't know. I'll have to see. The more that, that things, uh, you know, progress with him. Uh, a couple of big changes. Jing Wei was, uh, was boosted up quite a bit because she, I was really undervaluing her. She's a lot better uh, than I gave her credit for, you know, as an ADC, being able to maintain farm as well as she can and completely control the board is huge. You know, it's absolutely uh, groundbreaking, that kind of uh, mechanic. I just think we're not seeing a lot of people using it right yet. And me particular, I suck with her. I'm fucking terrible with her. So I think that's where uh, that that problem <laughs> lied in the in the first place there. Um, we see Nemesis actually fell quite a little bit. She was up at S+. But, of course, the big nerf to, uh, to her ult was, uh, was really crippling. Uh, just she just keeps getting more and more you know shit on and uh, this one it, it took quite a toll it she still has um, a winning matchup against gods like Bakasura but uh, he has much better matchups against the uh, the top s plus gods than she does in my opinion so that's why uh, that's why he's above her so sometimes you know a god could be above another one even though they have a losing matchup against that god definitely we see Hebo on the rise as well. Um, Apollo on the fall. Apollo really good against the melee gods, like the upper tier melee gods like Bakasura, um, Erlang Shen, who else? Nemesis, uh, Loki, and such. Because he can, you know, he's just a major deterrent to them. He's able to kite so well and disrupt them, which is the main, you know, the main counter to, uh, to that kind of uh, assassin style. And, um, that's 
less and less important though because there are more and more uh you know ranged gods mages uh as well coming up and being more important in duel so apollo's place kind of you know starts to falter in my opinion and um he he really doesn't beat anyone that's above him other than erlang shen in my opinion even hebo right now hebo's got uh a lot going with him, uh, a lot going for him with the right kind of a build. Uh, it, it's just his clear suffers so much without the golden bow, uh, and you continue to see that. Humbots, the boy, on the rise. Uh, you may or may not know. I don't know that I have enough YouTube videos out for him right now, but Humbots is like my my favorite god right now. He has so much uh, versatility and duel and he's just he can be so aggressive and it's so rewarding playing him i highly encourage you to try him out he's a lot of fun he definitely can't touch most of the gods in s plus or nearly any of them really but with a lot of outplay you know he's he's quite strong uh and he's a you know he's a real like head turner um that we got the biggest fall was is definitely susano other than geb rip my man uh, Susano got a, such a huge nerf. <laughs> it's crazy. This is hilarious fucking video that I got a link in this YouTube video about, uh, Erlang Shen, or, yeah, about, or, no, fuck, about Susano's nerf. Hey, it's, it's, it's really, really good. You gotta watch that. Check that out in the description. Somebody made it. I don't know who did it. They just captioned another video that's, like, very popular. Uh, and a lot of people make memes about, sh about shit based off of that video. It's, it's so funny. Or to the tune of that video. Oh my god. You, you'll, you'll know what I mean when you see it. Watch that shit. Uh, but yeah, Susano, that nerf was huge. Just so crippling. I gotta see uh, where it really lands him. Because this is just a tentative spot. But it is definitely uh, Im impactful. And uh, he's gonna be... The only thing that really makes him in this tier, in my opinion, is that uh, he works really well with uh, with Hydras right now. Apparently, his one procs it on uh, on all three of its hits, so that's pretty uh, you know that, that's pretty strong, and it's kind of like a crutch item for him now. Almost like Mercury was with the uh, uh, with the Golden Bow. Um. So other than that, a lot of uh, a lot of the same though. I mean. ADC is being disgusting. Mages and uh, mages kind of, I don't know, staying around the same. It all depends on the, the mages' kite potential for for really how good they can be. And uh, that, that's just so huge. So, yeah, uh, not too much changing overall. Hope you guys have been enjoying the regular videos and everything. I've been trying to step it up both in-game and in terms of, uh, you know, uh, knowledge as well as entertainment. So, Feel free to let me know how I've been doing. Hope you guys have been enjoying. Definitely, you know, question the hell out of anybody's placement. I'd love to see it. Make sure that you let me know what you're thinking. Oh, Poseidon got quite a little bit of a uh, of a bump back here. Um, I think that his place was really overvalued. Uh, I think that I had him a lot higher than he should be, but I could be wrong. We'll have to see. Maybe you guys will prove me completely wrong about that one. Uh, but yeah, overall, that's uh, that's what I'm thinking. Hope that uh, you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.